Hello, today we're going to be talking about how to install Tor on Ubuntu 11.10. Um, the first thing that you need to do is to open up a terminal session and type sudo app get install Tor. Um, now I'm not going to hit enter here because I've already installed Tor, but when you hit enter it'll download the Tor and um, other associated packages that are needed to run it. And it'll hopefully install it successfully and um, you don't need to do anything else within the command line. It's actually pretty simple here. Um, the part that takes a little bit of configuring is the next thing you need to do is um, back in your command line you need to open up in uh, a program called gedit which is sort of like notepad for, for Linux a file located in, and actually you need to put sudo before this because we need the right permissions um, a file in etc and then a folder called polipo and then a file called config and that's going to open and um, what you're going to look for here is you're going to scroll down towards the bottom there's two lines socks parent proxy and socks proxy type these two lines originally are going to be commented like this what you want to do is remove the comments from them the comment characters uh, by erasing the number signs save it And next thing we need to do is um, we're going to go into our network settings. Now you can get to this through um, by opening up the network settings through Ubuntu, or you can just go to preferences if you already have Chrome open. And if you go to under the hood, and then you click on change proxy settings under network. Um, this is the system-wide uh, network settings dialog. So you go down to network proxy, change the method to manual. In the HTTP proxy box, you're going to type 127.0.0.1 and change your port to 8118 unless you've somehow changed it separately in the settings. That's what the default is. Um, then down under SOX host, you're going to change that also to 127.0.0.1 and you're going to change that port to 9050. Uh, you're going to want to click Apply System Wide. And now if you go to check.tourproject.org it should tell you that you're using Tor. Um, the next thing we're going to do is configure this in Firefox because it's a little different. So once Firefox opens, if you go to uh, you go to edit and click on preferences um, under your advanced tab and then if you click on the network tab uh, you can click on the connection, the settings dialog should pop up. Um, change it to manual and enter your same settings that you entered uh, in Chrome if you use Firefox. 127.0.0.1 for the HTTP proxy and also for the SOX host. And then remember that the port is 8118 for the HTTP proxy by default and 9050 for the SOX host. Uh, once you do that, Firefox is going to be configured and you can also do the check by going to check.torproject.org and it should tell you that your Tor is connected. Um, so it's a little more difficult to set up in Firefox. You have to remember to manually specify through the network settings, uh, whereas the Chrome version, it's applied system-wide. Uh, so that's really all there is to uh, installing and using Tor. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments.